I'm sharing with you guys my kitchen cleaning routine and organizational hacks. After my last cleaning video, you guys requested them more frequently, so here we go. After I do any type of recipe development, my kitchen looks like a bomb went off and it takes a lot of elbow grease to get it back together, but I've got a routine down that I think works pretty well. I get a lot done in a short amount of time. So. I tackle the dishes, the pots and the pans that I just use and I cross my fingers that the dishwasher is empty because if it's not, that means I have to do that before I do anything else. But I'm gonna be showing you guys my new drying rack because this has to go, this drying mat. So Simple Human was very kind enough to send me a few products to try and the drying rack is amazing. It's anti-residue, so the water dries super quick. It also has this amazing adjustable swivel out tray so that you can position it to work with your own sink. It stores a lot. There's a lot of different little compartments and slot options. It also has a spot for wine glass holders, which is awesome because when my mom has her red wine at night, and she cleans them it always ends up getting like broken we've, we've got like two wine glasses left so this is going to solve our problems once the dishes are done I like to clean out the sink now I probably do this two times a month or when it starts to get more discolored because we have a ceramic or porcelain sink I just take baking soda isopropyl alcohol and dawn you could also use vinegar and lemon depending on what you have on hand but I let that sit for five to ten minutes the longer you do it the easier it is to break up whatever type of stuff is on your sink and then you can use either a finely kind of like gritty uh, sponge or one of those magic erasers whatever you want to do and then you have a shiny white brand new sink I also have the new sink caddy, which has been so helpful to just keep our sponges and all of our cleaning products right there in the sink. I don't have to put them up on the windowsill anymore where bacteria can collect. Then I do the same thing to the countertops because they're made from concrete. I let it sit a little longer because they are a bit more stained. And then I also have been trying to maximize counter space, move these plates away and just use little baskets and bowls to store our fresh fruits and veggies that are not ready to go into the fridge or not ready to be used yet. This works really well. It looks nice and I can have some more counter space. I also try to minimize how many appliances we have. So I actually moved the toaster and some other things. That way I only have the Vitamix because that gets used a few times a day. Then I also will clean out the appliances. So I'll dump the toaster upside down into the sink and like let it have all the crumbs come out. And then I put a damp cloth in between the waffle iron after I use it each time to get the excess grease out. And then to deep clean it, I use a toothbrush. For the Vitamix, I just use my all-purpose homemade spray that you guys have seen me use before. I will have that recipe up there, but this thing, because it's used so much, food gets on it, it gets dusty, and everything should just kind of get a good wipe down at least once a week. Now I told you I was gonna be real deal about this with you guys. Our kitchen gets a real beating between me baking all the time and my little brother who was literally like a five-star chef. He, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much him. Sorry, Josh, not throwing you under the bus, but hey, you do a lot of cooking. Now everyone's range is going to be different, whether you have gas or electronic, depending on how old it is. Ours, you have to take all these pieces off. And so I, one by one, will have to scrub these in the sink. Sometimes if it's really bad, like it is here, I will soak them in the dish detergent for a while and then scrub them. But then I also have to scrub in here. And I don't use any type of harsh chemicals cleaning the stove. Number one, because when you go to light it again, if anything's lingering, it's going to catch on fire and explode. So I use the all-purpose cleaner here as well. And I'm usually scrubbing for like 20 minutes. And that looks much better. I also have that little area to the left where I have my supplements and just some personal items. I keep track of my vitamins and my water. And this part of the kitchen is looking rather nice. Now, I'm gonna share with you guys some other little hacks because I know that this is one that everybody can relate to and it is containers. They seem to just ruin our kitchen organization because they're a pain in the butt. So what I have done is this is super simple, like it's really not that smart, but I store all of the lids into Ziploc bags and then stack all of the containers into Ziploc bags. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but it just makes this so much easier to just take them out and then, you know, they stack and I'm not trying to like spin the thing and all the stuff's falling. It's just a mess. Now the desk in our kitchen has become the official unofficial plastic bag storage area, but to fix that, Simple Human has also sent over this plastic bag organizer that you can attach to the wall. Why I didn't think to get one of these sooner, I don't know. 
Now our trash can is very in the way in this kitchen. It doesn't fit, it's very old, and Simple Human has a bunch of different options that you can choose from. I particularly like the step can because if I'm ever carrying anything like raw or something, I don't have to actually hold the handle. They also have the bag storage in the back, which I think is so clever, and then you just pull it through the front side and you can switch out your bags really fast. I like that it has the dual sides for recycling because our recycling can is outside and this is this is what happens it fills up on our counter so I can just wait for this to be all filled and then remove it and take it outside to our recycling bin this fits much better in our kitchen it's not in the way of the door anymore and it's much more convenient I will have simple humans website linked down below so you can see the products that I mentioned as well as some of their others one of the final things that I do is just a quick sweep of the pantry, throw out anything that is stale or has gone bad and organize our containers. I will do a full on pantry organization video for you guys, but I also will refill some of the different flour jars and baking essentials. And I promise this is like an organized chaos. It's pretty cool. I will definitely have a video. I also will refill the dog treats and fill up the cat food. I do all of this like maybe once a month like this full on kitchen clean and organization. Then once I'm finishing up anything that I decided to wash and then have dry is probably dry by the time I'm done cleaning the kitchen and so I will just put those back in their proper place. The thing about kitchen cleaning is you have to figure out a system that works best for you. Every kitchen's different, every home is different, and this is just what works for me, but I hope that you are able to take some of the tips that I mentioned and organization hacks, and you are able to apply them to your own lifestyle. Make sure you guys click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to follow along on social media. But until the next video, I'll see you soon. Bye.